Morning everyone. Uh, in this video we're going to be working on this seat which is of the XJ900S diversion. Uh, as you could probably see it's been tipped up on the corners. It has got quite a lot of sun bleach damage on it. But it does still look pretty shoddy with all this sun bleaching on it. So I'm going to be replacing this with some fabric I bought for less than a tenner. Some of you probably know I have done this seat before, but the uh, fabric I put on it had been in my loft for about 10 years. I didn't take this cover off, I just put it on top of this cover and the new cover all started peeling off. So this time I'm going to do it properly, I'm going to take all this cover off and uh, the new one on and start from scratch. So let's get on with it. Okay so usually these seats are on with uh, just staples and these staples on this seat have gone that rusty that they're disintegrating most of them. So this seat cover definitely needs to come off. I'm about to show you just a better get a screwdriver underneath one break it up get some pliers on it and just pull it out make sure you dispose of it in a bucket or somewhere so you can throw it away without getting any of them stuck in your tyres they just keep going round getting under them, pulling them up, pulling them out, shucking them in the bin. So leave that with me and when I've gone all the way round I will come back to you when I'm pulling the cover off. Okay then so now we've gone all the way round so now we should be able to peel the old seat cover off. So, chuck that in the bin. So all the sponge looks pretty good, so that's all okay. So what I'm going to do is just sort these edges out. Put a bit of tape around them. Gaffer tape to help them stop cutting through the material. So let me do that and I'll be back in a bit. Make sure you get all the staples out because they are very sharp and you can uh, cut yourself on them. Okay, I should uh, keep it all ordered in place and hopefully stop the plastic cutting through the uh, seat material. So next let's try and uh, get the seat material on there. Right then, so this is a different day, a lot warmer as you can tell. Uh, this is the material, £9 something off eBay. Just enough to do one seat. Let's, I'll be using just a normal stapler gun. just in case the uh, staples don't go in far enough I'll use a little toffee hammer to persuade them to go in properly so let's get started the way I normally start is just put the material on top of the seat obviously make sure it's going to fit everywhere That it just fits as well. I don't know if you can see on this it's got crease marks where it was folded so that's going to help me make sure it's lined up properly because I'm going to start just here in the middle pull that round and staple it and the same on that one pull it round and staple it 
trying to keep that crease line straight. If we turn it over, just before that curve there, where's my staple going? Let's try and get one staple in this side. There we go. Just need persuading a bit because it hasn't gone in fully. There we go. Turn the seat back over. To try and make sure we keep this line straight. Because you can see the ump there. line straight with the ump. We should be good to go. Quite tight, not too tight. Then go back to this little curve again. And stick our second staple in. There we go. Turn the seat over again. Just put it to the back like so. Just fold it over at the back and uh, whack a staple in the middle. Perfect mundo. Okay, let's have a look, see how that's going. around the seat equally trying to get all the creases out you may have to pull some staples out because already it looks there like I'm gonna run into a bit of trouble so we carry on with this back bit and then we'll get to that when we come to it get to that when we come to it This side over there.
Okay, there we go. So I'm not really happy with these creases. I hope they're going to disappear. And I hope this black stuff isn't going to start peeling off like it did on the last one. All I've got to do now is like uh, trim all this excess piece off. Then I'm done. Access off and uh, try to make it look fairly neat. So odd staples that I'm going to have to do again, obviously. But uh, overall, I'm quite happy with that, and I'll be very happy with it if these bloody creases disappear. So anyway. Let me finish off cutting these bits off and we'll go put it back on the bike. Okay then, there it is all trimmed off. So let's uh, recrown the king. There we go. And I'm sure you'll all agree. a lot better than it did before. So we can throw that in the bin and uh, hopefully these creases all come out. So if you enjoyed the video please leave a comment down below to give me some inspiration to make more videos like this. And if you've made it this far and you're still with me, thank you so much for watching. And it must be my lucky day because I've just drilled in some dog poo. See you in another life, brother.